Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs. And in today's video, we are going to create this looping vector animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. So, if you are new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe Illustrator. I got this illustration from freepick.com. Link of this is available in the description. Now I'll select this hand illustration first. I'll hit Ctrl C to copy this illustration. I'll I have already created a new file over here. Height width is 1920 by 180 and it's in RGB mode. So I'll simply press Ctrl V to paste in place and by holding shift I'm going to increase the size of it. Then right click, go to the transform and over here we need to reflect it so i'll click click on this and i'm going to click on this horizontal icon and i'll simply hit ok then i'll rotate it somewhere around like this okay then i'll select this much portion but before that let's select this right click and choose ungroup then we will select this much portion i'll hit ctrl x i'll create a new layer and i'll press ctrl shift v to paste in place and we will simply bring this over here now we will select this much portion I'll select this icon, shortcut key is A. Let's select this portion by holding shift. I'm going to select this anchor point also and we will move this somewhere around over here like this. Okay, after that right click and choose ungroup. Let's select this hand, uh, uh, what we call finger and I'll hit Control X. I'll create new layer, press Ctrl Shift V, then this, then this and we will select this uh, fingers and we'll bring this backward like this okay and hit ctrl 0 then i got another illustration of this world map link is already available in the description i'll select this much portion i'll hit ctrl c to copy i'll go over here and first of all i'll create a new layer and i'll press ctrl shift v to paste in place and i'll in increase the size of this like somewhere around like this okay and let's save this file now we will go to the adobe after effects and then we will create a new composition i'll call it as me animation width is 1920 and height is 180 frame rate i'm going to choose 30 seconds background color white color and duration is 30 seconds and simply hit ok then go to choose grid and guide option and hit on title safe action. I'll disable this icon toggle transparency grid. Then press Ctrl I on your keyboard to select your illustration file. I'll select my illustrator file which is over here. Import as footage composition return layer sizes and simply hit import. And I'll bring my illustration file over here. Then double click to open this we will hide this map first because we have to focus on this much portion then uh, this is my main so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna select all of them and i'll make it apparent with this hand select this and let's move this somewhere around over here <coughs> sorry then now we will animate this first so press p for position let's create one keyframe go to around let's say one second and create another keyframe Go to the start and by holding shift, I'm gonna bring this over here. Select those keyframes and hit F9. Go to the graph editor, right click, choose edit speed graph, select this and by holding shift, I move this angle over here. Like this. And if you want to increase the duration, you can do something like this. So you get something like this. Okay, now this is uh, my main hand if you see over here and all other three are uh, what we call fingers. Then we will select this, I'll press Y on my keyboard and I'll bring this anchor point over here like this. Then I'll select all of them and I'll make it apparent with this third layer like this. Go to the start, select this, press R for rotation, let's create one keyframe, go over here, create another keyframe or you can simply bring this down like this, create one keyframe, go to the start and we need to rotate it like this. So we'll get something like this. I'll select those keyframes and hit F9 and if you see we'll get something like this now same procedure we will follow for this uh, rear remaining 
selecting those so i'll select all of them and i'll enable this option let's select this and with the help of pen behind tool shortcut key is y you can select from here we will adjust the anchor point of each and every one somewhere around like this go to the start press r for rotation let's create one keyframe go over here create another keyframe go to the start let's make this minus 25 okay select those keyframes and hit f9 and if you see we will get something like this now let's disable this icon we will get this animation also so now what we need to do i'll select all these keyframes and i'll move this over here select this select this move this over here select this and move this over here so if i see this i'll get this kind of stuff okay now I'll, I'll enable my this your layer i'll select this i'll press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as earth sorry and move all attributes into the new composition and hit ok double click to open this press ctrl y on your keyboard and choose white color for this and let's move this over here and let's lock this layer now select this earth layer i'll go to the effect and presets panel and I'll search for fill effect and double click to apply go over here I am going to choose color somewhere around like this between yellow and green color maybe okay yep somewhere around like this and simply hit okay go over here we'll select this earth we'll go to the effect and presets panel and we will search for cc spare effect on it and double click to apply so we'll get this kind of spare and let's increase the size of this like this and change the offset somewhere around over here and we will bring this after the third layer like this and adjust the position like this then go to the light options uh, and let's go to the shading first and let's increase the ambient and decrease the light intensity and if you increase the ambient we will get something like this let's decrease the light intensity again and increase the ambient okay so if i see this transfer resolution i will get something like this okay then press ctrl key to select the project settings and background color choose white color and hit okay so if i see this i want this and at this point i want this out should start and match so i move this over here like this okay then press y on your keyboard and move this anchor point over here like this press s let's create one keyframe move keyframe forward create another keyframe go to the start and let's make this zero select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph hold shift and move this handle over here so if i see i'll get something like this now after that go to the rotation property and you can rotate it on my axis so initially i move this somewhere around over here i create one keyframe ktu zoom in a little bit go to around eight second and let's rotate it like this let's move this over here okay so after that we will get this kind of animation now uh, i want to create some sort of magnetic fields for this so for that what we are going to do i'll select my ellipse tool then i don't want any fill so let's simply delete this fill and then over here for the stroke i'm going to choose the darker version of this color like this and let's create one circle like this then press ctrl auto to align that anchor point to the center first like this and we'll adjust it somewhere around over here so i'll get something like this then press y and i'll move this anchor point over here then select the shape layer go to the add menu choose trim path go to the trim path um, let's make this 90 alt click on this uh, stopwatch of offset apply time uh, star let's make this 70 so we will get this kind of stuff okay after that select this hit ctrl d press v move this over here and move this over here again hit ctrl d move this over here and move this over here select both the layers by um, shift holding shift press ctrl shift c let's call it as fields and hit ok hit ctrl d press s unlink this and let's make this minus 100 okay we will select both of them and we will bring this after the earth and we will make it parent with this earth so if i see this animation now 
I'll get something like this and press F4 and create one keyframe I mean click on this icon then go inside this field so if you see we'll get something like this now after that select any of them and let's go to the add menu and choose trim path again it will create one extra trim path over here go to the trim path let's create one keyframe at the end property go to around one second create another keyframe go to the start and let's make this zero select this keyframe and hit f9 so we will get this trim path animation like this then we will select those uh, this trim part 2 we will hit ctrl c select both the layers and hit ctrl v okay so if i see this i'll get something like this and i want uh, this field should start animate from here so i'll move them over here like this then let's go inside this field and hit u we'll move this over here and this over here so it will animate like this so if i see this now i'll get something like this cross this then this then this okay like this now uh, i want zoom in animation for this so right click new and create one null object first of all and select all the layers which are not parent with anyone like this layer one and this earth uh, layer and make it a parent with this null one select this null one press p alt click on the stopwatch and apply wiggle uh, i'll type 3 comma 3 so i'll get this uh, some sort of uh, wiggle expression over here like this then uh, select this null object press s create one keyframe or instead of that right click new and create extra null object and select this null object and make it apparent with this null tool select this null tool press s create one keyframe then press p create one keyframe and hit u go over here and i'm going to increase the scale of this until it's going to cover entire this portion and we will move this position of this null object over here like this okay then select those keyframes and hit f9 like this go to the graph editor select this graph hold shift move this handle over here and so move this handle over here like this okay and if you think the animation is quite fast so you can move this keyframe over here also and uh, you instead of adjusting graph editor like this you can simply hit f9 again to get rid of this graph let's select this graph hold shift move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here like this okay and now uh, what we need to do let's see first of all this animation then this and then i want to zoom in animation and let's move this over here a little bit now uh, I want this uh, entire animation should be in the form of loop. So for that, what I'm going to do at this point, uh, I want the color of this also change. So I select this. I create one keyframe in the color. Go over here around. At this point, I want the shift in color. So I'll hit go over here, and I'll change the color to the light version of this. And I'll simply hit OK, and I'll select this and hit F9 and we will select this color and we will copy the color code i'll hit ctrl c and hit ok let's go over here first so if i see i'll get something like this okay and now i will press ctrl y over here i'll hit ctrl v basically i'm pasting the color code and simply hit ok and hit ok and we'll bring this downwards like this hit u and now if you see this animation i'll get this And at this point i'll hit n so i'll get this animation in the form of loop again and again and again okay hit u make sure that this color and your initial color is same okay i'll hit n uh, and uh, one thing you need to remember let's go to this earth first and uh, if you want proper uh, looping stuff over here so all you need to do let's in decrease the lighting totally zero and you have to increase the ambient uh, to let's say 100 and you can add a little bit lighting only like two percent or let's say five percent maybe like this then only you will uh, get this properly in the looping format 
otherwise uh, it will lag a little bit in the sense of loop or you can simply do let's make this intensity zero like this and let's see this thing now you will get something like this so yep this is how you can create this kind of looping anime so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned